I started Cayute, um, I did Cayute daily for three and a half years. I um, attended several trainings and I went to Brazil for a 10 day retreat with Francisco. Um, and it basically changed my life on a lot of levels. Um, about six months ago, I injured myself and so uh, was unable to do Cayute for about three months. And then when I resumed, it was just shortly before we started the, Francisco started the online school. And then I practiced maybe three times a week. And then in Ju July, actually, I didn't practice at all. So what I want to talk about is not why I stopped practicing, but what I learned. And um, so after a few weeks, I noticed that I was starting to feel stiff and kind of rickety. And um, I uh, have arthritis in my left hip and I have a, a slight limp and my limp got uh, significantly worse. And sort of the wake up call was I was at, were walking around the Botanic Gardens for several hours and I was really stiff and slow and my limp was significant. So then I remembered um, Francisco saying that there will come a time when you will uh, look at Caillou as part of your daily hygiene, just like brushing your teeth. At the time, I thought that that was a little odd, um, but this experience um, brought home the, the truth of that statement, um, that I actually need and to practice, you know, daily, just to keep my normal, to keep my functioning. So I um, started practicing daily again, and um, fortunately, you know, within a few days, you know, I, the sort of ricketiness went away and the limp went back to being just a little slight limp. Um, but the, that experience um, precipitated a, like, a, like a, a shift in my attitude. Because what I realized was that even though, you know, Francisco said over and over and over, this is not about the, f the performance and this is not about doing the, f the poses right, you know, I, a big part of my motivation was still that Western mentality of performance. But lo beginning to lose my functioning really shifted my attitude. So then as I practiced, I kind of heard on a deeper level, you know, when Francisco would say, you know, this is about um, feeling your body and this is about feeling how your, you know, the connect connections in your nervous system and, and the uh, connections to your circulatory system and we just feeling the connectivity and, um, then, you know, as part of that, I, it's, it's really a kind of self-love because when you connect to yourself, you, you connect to everybody. You connect to nature, you connect to, um, you're just connected and it, and it brings about, that's kind of what brings about sort of the deep kind of happiness and peace. And you know, there's a lot of talk recently about resiliency. And I think that practicing yoga is sort of the ultimate way or a primary way for me, the way for me to, um, to be resilient in the face of you know, the pandemic and all this stuff going on because I'm connecting with the life force of nature, which really, uh, gives me a sense of groundedness and safety. So, thank you, Francisco.